Right, here is a brisk guided tour to the English Bee website. The structure of this top line is perhaps not immediately apparent, it's a bit tangled. There are two reasons for that. One, there, is, there are currently two subject guides in operation. Um, there is the one that carries up to the end of 2019 and then there is the second or the new guide which started in 2018 and will go on for the future. Uh, the second reason why it's a bit tangled is because English B is a complex subject. In a way everything overlaps with everything else. Language overlaps with literature which and overlaps with themes and overlaps with critical thinking and overlaps with theory of knowledge just to mention a few. Hence, of course, this guided tour. So, let's run briefly along the top line. It starts currently with the subject guide 2018. And this is gives a page for all of the key elements in that subject guide. Secondly, building a program. This has some um, a range of uh, ways of considering how to put a program together um, and I'd mentioned particularly there are things like um, adapting to the English B procedure but through to things like the framework documents which are a number of very important IB documents for example the learner profile. Then we move on to assessment 2019. This is the current um, assessment procedure. There are some general um, pages there including for example grade boundaries but then the rest of these, this section is all about um, the various components as you can see there written assignment orals and the papers. That will of course mutate into um, the new guide assessment process when we get to the end of 2019 and the old assessment components disappear. Moving on, the old guide topics are considered here. There's communication and media, global issues and social relationships and then of course the option topics there. Material from those uh, old topics are gradually mutating or being moved into the next area which is the themes which apply from 2018 onwards and there are the five themes and you can see the kind of thing that's appearing there. The next one language system is sizable. Um, let's see what that in, is in there. There is an introduction to the Q bank that is the bank of language drills and exercises which you'll find uh, through the home page. Um, then there's a section on diagnostic tests. I provide three papers which are ways of checking your students general level. Then there's a section on key language issues. Um, tenses, articles, cohesives, conditionals, all of the usual things that we know of. A section on language and instruction and this is very much concerned with producing, um, with teaching academic language in a way or language specifically for study purposes. And finally there's the section on language and TOK. How to introduce or in include theory of knowledge in the classroom. There's a long list of uh, pages there which go off the bottom of the screen as you can see. Next section, writing. Um, have a look at these things anyway. There's some background stuff to begin with, discussion of the general principles of teaching writing, but particularly I'd mentioned text type conventions uh, which include all of the commonest text types, pages on all of the com commonest text types, but then also writing purposes, which are, if you like, the functions of language, uh, of writing. We write to describe or narrate, to tell a story. Written interaction covers things like emails, letters, and all the rest of it. In other words, examples of that kind of um, writing. Next, literature. 
the, the, the section, or the most important section here is probably reading good reads. It starts with a general book list, which is a collection of many um, works that I've heard of as being good for teaching. And then also detailed pages on 15 suggested works. Finally, approaches. And this is really developing ideas about the IB's fundamental document, Approaches to Teaching and Learning. You've got two section, two pages at the beginning there, um, discussing the document, and then the five uh, key elements there, thinking, research, communication, social skills, and self-management. And then there's some more general things, for example, computer word verbs, which is about how to use computers in the classroom. OK, so there you are. Um, a quick skim over. What I recommend is that you now go and rummage.